Hey yo, you don't know see your face going to the place again. Yo, for all, of, for all of my subscribers them out there, I know say yo, I never did post that much. But it was for a good cause. I was just trying to get some things done, get some things out of the way. But I'm here now and right now we have a, a video, an interview with um with Ninja Man and Emily Crooks. That video do, um, the interview did a long time, but I wanna buy this interview me seen in my life, yo. Funniest. But without the further if I chatting and thing, I just drop the interview and make an ear walk one. First call out. Today we talk with a gentleman who dubbed himself the original front teeth, gold teeth, Dan Gargan, brush teeth with toothpaste, he says. Long time ago, sometime way back. The man is of course known as Ninja Man, given at birth Desmond Valentine. And if you watched the performance at Sting over December, about a week and a half ago, then you would realize exactly why we're touching base at this point in time with Ninja Man. To my understanding and to the understanding of all Jamaicans, a number of things happened at Sting. And as usual, Ninja Man topped the performance. We're going to find out, was this all staged? This is another of Ninja Man's gimmicks just coming out. I want to once again make the news. I want to welcome you, sir, to Exposure. Good to have you. Good, good afternoon or good day or whatever time it is. I it's say. after 12 o'clock. Yeah, what is it? It's my pleasure then? to be here then. Yeah, so yes. good afternoon. Yeah. Take me through your performance at Sting. What exactly were you thinking before the show? Did you plan to do what you did at Sting 2002? Uh, before I read Sting and whatever go on at Sting, did you watch the kids' program a while ago? No. That was on the TV before this program start. What in the kids program? No. What happened? All the kids was crying for peace. And if the children are crying, the fathers are dying. And all we see a blood pump, we are not time for give up the gun them. You understand? I don't really have to come out to come give up a gun to make a performance because I am Mr. Spontaneous. I can just go to the show and for my reach the show, whatsoever I'm supposed to do, gonna be victorious. I don't need to give up a gun for that. Did you think about giving up the guns before you touched the stage? Or was it a spontaneous reaction as you said? No, really. That, you know, when we go over the plan to give up no gun, we just decide so right now. A legal gun is in position. And after the works of the Prime Minister, and I know so when the Prime Minister, if in case him lose him seat and the leader of opposition becomes the Prime Minister, him going to finish where the Prime Minister, the now Prime Minister, leave off. And if, country, if Jamaica becoming such a beautiful country, and the Prime Minister and the leader of opposition is done in their best to make this country a place that you can look at and say there is beauty, we the citizens are supposed to be the one to make the country a place that you can live and be happy. Was an illegal gun you said? Yeah, man. No lies never defeat. Tells me wouldn't give it up. Why exactly does Ninja Man need a gun in Jamaica? Girlfriend, me no grow like Emily. Christian, you know. Emily Crooks. Well, you see right now, you're talking to the original frontier, Goatee Dan Gargan. And you're talking with Emily and Crooks. And Emily Crooks, I want you to know that sometimes I don't gonna really call your name. I gonna say girlfriend, I be a beloved car. That's our style. You, you, your wife is backstage? Yes, you know, so when Mr. Girlfriend, that's our slang. That's nobody's slang, but our slang, the Dan Gorgon slang. So you reserve that for you and her? No. Right now, you talk to no, Emily? No, my wife is backstage. My wife is my wife. When yes. I'm calling, I say, Mommy. Yes. You call your wife Mommy? Mommy. Yeah? Why? Yeah. Because It's after... an incestuous relationship? No. It's after your, ma after your mother, your wife becomes your mom. After yeah. the mother woman that brings you in the world, your next mom is your wife because she's the one that dares for you in times of trouble, times of sickness, times of happiness, times of sadness, times of joy. Is Only God alone is above your wife after your mother. Is this the same wife that you assaulted some time ago, according to the news? Your news tell too much lie. What's the truth? The truth is some of them for mind their own business. You're a public figure, Ninja Man. Yes, but them never see me assault my wife. Let's not take the picture and you just see it on TV. They don't go hear. Did you? No, she's out there. You never see her inside the Emily before you come and ask me. Ask she, I she, I she them say me, me assault. Ask she, she have no secret. If you don't pray it so much from the radio and from the TV, I ain't I glean her. I ain't daily news, ex-news and the whole of them. You shouldn't have to ask me alone. Go here and ask her. 
bear in mind we came to talk with you. Oh, okay. You are the original front teeth, gold teeth, Dan Gargan. Mm -hmm. She's just the wife of that person, right? Yeah, but go Danet back, Gargan. Go, go, back, <laughs> go back to what happened at, at Sting for me. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I why, do. Why does Ninja Man need a gun in Jamaica? As me I tell you before, we never born in a church. Jamaica is a country that you have to stand out for where you want. You know, come, you come from Malwood, Towile, Tivoli, Rima, Jungle. You could have passed 52 subjects in GC. You could have passed a million O levels. Mm -hmm. When you go to a, 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 a place to get employment, and when you put down your address, you might look good, yes, car, to get up, you blend dress good, then look good, car, who not have bleach, I try to keep up themselves to look like somebody to mix with society. But once you write your address and them contract, then going to tell us, you know, they're going to call you back next week, mm -hmm. and uh, next year and next year to come, you're not getting no call, because you know why? You come from which part pay thief and robber come from, so you're not getting no job. So the only alternative for the poor ghetto man, you see, when the politician they hand out the gun, them give it, we use the thief. You were given that gun by a politician? Me, you, that the gun, you, you, you know, you know, I'm going to know where that gun they come from, Emily. Why not? The young one was turning. That's he all we're here to do. And being the guns. Is not to tell you where it come from, nor how it come here, nor how me get it. That I know nobody's business. Is there any more guns where the one that you handed in if me came did, from? If me did have more guns, with would have in the whole of them one time. Because it spells no sense you're going to hand in a gun and have another one. You're a hypocrite. And I'm a real bad man, Emily. I'm not a hypocrite. That's why certain things bad men don't do. What exactly has the bad man done to this point? A bad man have a responsibility to see that... the. Tell me something. You just called a number of people and you called Mr. Adams. And Leng, Tony, you with all of them. We stand up for city Jamaica run. No, for more, with all the police, they must stand up for Jamaica. As long as they are not idiot police. They are real bad man. What exactly do you mean? I talk about idiot, idiot police, police eh, when they catch a man with 40 keys. Then give him back 20 and take 200,000. Mm -hmm. Now, police, eh, when they catch a man with a gun around there, so. Him tell him, say, yeah, well, you're the big man, give me half a million and go on where you go on. When he see Ninja Man, he one, he lock up Ninja Man too. Ninja Man will grab 250,000. Go away. We are talking about real police. So when so, justice is supposed to so serve, you, you serve it. Have you offered police officers money to... After me now, walk I give you some you idiot. You know, see all of my case and go front of the judge and dismiss. How many times have you gone in front of the judge at your young age? Well, if you don't know Jamaica people business, and then know Ninja Man business in Jamaica, then should I know how much time they bring me from Thai judge where I don't know about? You talk the truth. You tell me. How old are you? A mean? whole heap of time. How old are you? Right now, at my young age, Mr. Young, bold and beautiful, I'm 37 years of age to 24th of this month. How many children do you have? 23. 22, baby mother. I was batting careful, a good cricketer. If you were batting careful, how did you manage to have 23 children? Because 23 I lick babies? all of the runs. Them are never out for dogs. Yeah? I never out for dogs. You, you, you think you're a role model for the young guys of Jamaica? Yeah, I'm a role model for the young guys of Jamaica because remember my first song said, I believe the children are our future. Teach them well and let them see the way. Show them all the beauty we possess inside. And my part come in and say, send for your protection if you're not ready for baby. I never get nobody pregnant till when me named Dan Gargan. At what age was that? What age were you the Dan Gargan? From me at 15. You started at 15 and you believe as a role model having 23 children with 22 women. When you can't mind them. Yes? 
and even when you can, that is a good way for a role model to behave? Yeah, it's better than you get the pit in them, because whenever time a woman gets pregnant in the world, it's a blessing of the Almighty God, and comes what me God send that child in this world for you should not commit abortion. You is a murderer, and that them thing they are where Prime Minister to start to sentence the doctor, them where I take out people pick me out of them, because God give life, and when it come here, you must preserve it, you know, desert it. Do you take care of all of those children? I me, me, me make sure I don't talk to a woman who is too poor, you know. I talk to a woman who can't mind all me too. That's a worthless mentality. No, is it not, not a worthless mentality. A man that have sense that because you don't know the responsibility of one child, but just to go have 23. And when you kill, see someone when 23 people start calling upon you, and I you alone, you think me I got teeth to please nobody. You must never, as a young man, never take up a woman that when you put on one, she can put on one too. I mean, I ask you that. That's my foolish time when me just bust. But me have one thing to tell you. Anytime you talking to a woman as a young man, you must be an industrious person. She mustn't be a woman who's young and lap her frack tail. And when you go and go over Dan, go and chat, and over Sharon, go and chat, and over Beverly, go and chat, and you your house dirty, you hold your business as quiet, and she go and chat somebody's business. Me need a woman where when me say, all right, here is two. When me come back and say, you know, say, me broke. She say, well, God, I'm going to tell you something. You give me 2,000 the other day, you know, well, yeah, you may have 20,000 in there, so I have 16,000 or 15,000. If it's even 3,000, I am proud of her. T tell me a little, Ninja, of how you grew up. Because even now, it seems as if you're acting. Me? Is this a stage for you? No, i a joke, man. Everything me do a real thing. I don't have time for acting, you know. This is how you are at home? My wife outside, you can't ask her, you know. Talk with me, you tell me. Do you see yourself differently when you come in front of a camera? As no, a man, to after I'm in a Friday, Friday, I, 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 I how you feel like? I used to be born. 37 years ago. I have third world, I had a rude boy, I mean, I have shabba movie with them called him Clash. And I have a new movie coming out near Is It Ready to and I mash up the whole of that show there. Now, like third world, I then come put me in a barrel. This time, I had a real <laughs> bad man. So let me tell you something. I don't need to see one camera and get frightened. We've been on many stage shows. If camera was something for frightened people, I would have been used to it years now. It's more than 20 years I had each year. Did you grow up with both of your parents, mother and father? Or were you one of 25? Well, me as a little youth, you know, I grew up rough, you know. Because I grew up coming to see my mother do domestic work. And I had to launch out for my own at the age of 13 and tell myself, say, oh, yeah. I'm going to look at it and I'm going to start to eat back and hockey and them something there. You know? I'm not afraid to tell nobody. I'm not coming from right or something. Mm -hmm. I'm coming from walking, thief, you know, picking up back of thief in hockey, mango and them things there and sell them and come in with my little money till I get to step on the road and turn real. You know what I mean? Because everything we have to talk out loud. Which the whole society know who I was before I become ninja man. We're going to take a break. When we come back, we'll hear more from Desmond Ballantyne, Ninja Man, as we come one-on-one, -on -one, face to face with Desmond. Desmond Ballantyne, and you would know him as Ninja Man. And we were talking about the manner in which you grew up Ninja Man before. Mm -hmm. and you said... We are come from, out early. Early, from, from early with the, from the street, man. Yes. We know everything about the street. We learn good and we learn evil. That's why we can't be able to come tell the youths them now, say. A full time for come out of the foolishness. Because after I've been through this more than 23 years, me supposed to can't tell any youth, because me want you know this, you know. When I was coming to the DJ business, you never used to have man a talk about gun and them thing then. You brought it in, didn't you? Me bring in gun lyrics on stage, you know. No DJ never mentioned nothing about gun when me coming at the business. Me coming at the business and come tell them, say, me got 14 gun. Mathematics, rap map master, the whole of them things that me come tell the youth. Did you really have the guns? But you see right now, I hear when me did a work after when we start DJ, you know. Me used to start me used to work after the things that me used to see before and things were happening in front of my eyes because really I know right lyrics. Every one of my tune them base up off of something that was in the past mm -hmm. or something with lately happened. You understand? Either the past or the present. Mm -hmm. And we know we and we talk things so we know where I got me in the future. You understand? Mm -hmm. So that's why we So you didn't have those guns? No really have them guns there still. How many guns did you have at the time when you wrote your you wrote your first gun me love, lyrics? I come here and I interview I don't come here to be an informer. How can you be an informer on yourself? Yeah. If you can credit yourself for starting the first gun lyrics in Jamaica, 
Why but not reverse not it and come clean with the people? I credit myself to come tell you that I had a party two gun or a yeti had gun. How many did you have? You don't want to know that I turn over the one that I have. But you didn't have one. You only have... But how many did you turn over backstage? That are lyrics, man. The, you, so you didn't give Mr. Adams an M16 and an AK-47 backstage? No. You didn't hand over anything to the, 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 the senior suit? So I hide some around the back and bring one come out front. So I don't seek me a play. You tell me. I must think I do see me in a program made up and a real thing I go on on TV and on radio and everywhere, you know. I front of the whole Jamaica, my hand in the, the illegal firearm, you know. Did you not confirm for me, because news had it, that you did hand over M16 the and AK-47? news, AK them, they understand and listen to the song that I've done. They say, why don't we surrender our guns? One part of the song said, Adams, here is my gun. Take my AK, my M16 and M1. But leave my Berita, I have a small matter to settle with the one beanie man. And that was and all lyrics? That was all lyrics. The, the next verse said, no, ninja, you must understand. You must fight fist to fist like a man. For the people are dying, the children are crying, and blood is all over the land. Did you know Mr. Adams before Sting? I never see that man yet. So why did you call him on stage? How did because, you know he was in the crowd? All right, I'll tell you something. I'm not a carb and copy bad man. I'm not a fool, fool bad man. I can't give me a gun to my little normal police. I don't know how to do it. Because so my police them broke, you know. And so why don't we really sell back the gun, you know? So we have to give it to the you, police. You know a police selling guns? Nobody try to mix me up now, I think, them, man. Just hear what I say, man. Answer the question. Just know. Me not answer every question. Because if you're in a court, me not answer every question. Because certain things you can't ask me because I'm not answering that. You're trying to make me look like an informer. No. Yes. If you say, reason with... Me say you have them where, where we sell the gun. Re reason with... everybody me. hungry. You have all bad men sell guns, much less police when and, I have no food. And do you know, do you know Desmond Ballantyne? Do you know a police officer selling guns? You know what you do? You more pretty. You could have more be an investigator. Go and see if you can find out if a police officer sell guns. Join the force as an undercover police who is seeking out police business. I am out there as an old lad trying to make Jamaica a better place to live. Trying to change the youth them used to try in my direction. I ain't no business about which police to sell guns. Me just nag in a normal policeman gun. The, Adams the, is the one where them have out here as the head of the crime. Who out here and a gun on. The, the gun that you handed over to Mr. Adams on stage. Was it ever loaded before? You handed to him a loaded gun. Was it loaded before? Ah. Oh. So that's moving here. <laughs> so it was loaded before. Uh, how did it become empty? Eh? If it was loaded before, how did it become empty? And how did you know it did empty? He says it's not souvenir. So F was it not one empty? Shot in our gun in load. That's how we want, you know. One out of how much? If, if, if a million shots supposed to hold in the magazine, and you put one shot tonight and select it in the head, it's load. But that one shot can fly through two men. Did you ever use that um, pistol that you handed over to Mr. Adams? The ballistics will tell you. I don't have to tell you that. Have you spoken with the police since you handed over the gun to them? Right now, me never hand over the gun to really go back and investigate to the police them what I'm taking her and if me wouldn't hand it over if me interest in that girlfriend. And Emily. my in whole interest is to give in that gun, to give up, forget Mr. Mr. Evans out of crime, forget about crime. Mm -hmm. That shouldn't case anything. They write in the paper that is ninja man above the law. I am not above the law yet, but I'm stepping to a go out to be above the law because the only way you can be above the law is don't have an illegal gun, don't have a draw weed, don't have a ball of coke. We have nothing for your police can tell us to walk in front of me and go down a station. My license, everything's supposed to be straight. This is 2003. And my New Year resolution, starting from the 26th of December, I tell myself no more my name supposed to call up in crime. Mm -hmm. I will be a new person. And I, don't, and I did not change the book and look at, look, and look at a different page. I dash with the order that dirty old book where they have and take up a brand new book and I turn on new page. I'm taking up a new book from the front to the back. It's clean. Why should anybody believe a ninja man? I don't care if you believe me after you're not God. In, 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 um, let me tell you something. Hold on, hold on. When you say that, when you say that,
in the midnight. Hold on, when you say that, I can eat a pint to you. I don't care whether you believe me or not. You know. yes. The last time I give my life to God, holy and solely, and I Did you really? And when you don't criticize me, I couldn't take him no more. I have to come out and say, God, if I so much Christian to be, I can't take him, I walk away. But I'm telling you something now. Were you really I, a Christian or were you just broke? What? I needed some money. Some you can't some make Christian me broke. You think a DJ make money like me? How much do you make for a regular stage show? I, 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 I tax you want to come down for me. I don't make nothing. You think you're not you You're Ali Button? Yes, work with nothing, but if you check my pocket, it's have been something. <laughs> Were you really a Christian? I'm, I wasn't a Christian. I was a man of God. What's the difference? Because Christian have a tendency to be hypocrite in the sight of God. And what are you now? When you work in the sight of God, you must not go and hold your man yard. You must not cheat on your fellow brothers in the church. You must not rob the collection. And a church that is dealing with God is supposed to make sure that what he's doing, when he preach and collect the collection, you have mad people upon the road. You have sick people who need help. You have school who need help. And the pastor, they might keep the collection at the garden yard. I want the collection to do something beneficial to the country and to the poorer class people. And until that time, I am not a Christian. I am a man of God. I am far from church, but closer to God. You understand? I'm not going to see any church and far from God because some of them in that church are not really right. With, with this latest move, what, what, what's now? Are you Desmond Mohammed? No. What? Are you never hear me come here and say, Salam Alaikum Alaikum Salam, you know? So what is it? What exactly was it? You want the crime to stop? Yes. Are you hoping that people will now turn over a new leaf, see you in the a different thing light? The leaf will not work. I don't know what they want to see me now, you know? Because you know why? Me I work where God and man shall see that ninja man is no more in their foolishness, in no more crime. Before, you know what I mean, three years now, me start practice off walk a straight road. That's why I take up my wife and my son, and I tell them, say, these are my two friends. I don't want nobody else around me. Because I have a tendency, if I take up two friends and walk with me, and when I walk with them, if them shoot a man, I am the one God jail. So I know, say, so you see right now, Forget all this heap of friend thing and this heap of badness thing. I mean, make me live a life now that the youths them will live and respect Ninja Man. Can say, all right, me know Ninja Man as the Dan Gargan and I did want to be the Dan Gargan. You know where I want to be now? I want to be a righteous man. When, when you, I'm, I'm concerned, um, Ninja Man, when you lie down, when you are reflecting in your private moment, how do you see yourself, apart from the man who goes on stage and just rock the place and come off. How do you see you? Me, me, individual me. Yeah. A messenger for Christ. And Christ sent you to preach about A man of a, of a responsibility. Let me tell you something. Don't pressure me if you're gone. Because I can tell you something about the Bible. If you wanted this Hold to be quiet. Hold on. If you wanted this to be quiet, why did you Hold choose to have it in front, of, in front of a group of thousands of people? Listen to me. You're pressuring and talking about gun like if I... DJ about gun, mm -hmm. I can't do the work of God. You read about Paul? What about Paul? Paul was the same man they called Saul, who used to slew Christians. I never kill a Christian yet. I don't go make to go rob a church one time and get in a spirit for me and me have to run out. Who have you killed? Let me tell you never kill a Christian? I never kill a fly or a mosquito. Who does the killing for you? My girl, will you really call me on your TV if you do? If you send me to prison, I go there already and then find me not guilty after then give me one year and six months for stuff of your things that I don't know about. And then send me out and say I'll find it not guilty. You can't send me back just so you know. What I say right now is we must try to come together. Every man should look at Ninja Man do this morning. You understand? That's why me come for telling you one thing, you know. Mm -hmm. Me don't want no information from no informer. If you come tell, we say, Tom Jones, have a gun around this or hide. We want how you would feel justifying himself and say, you see, when Ninja Man do, I something positive. I something where I help him, I help him the people of the country, and I beneficiary to the whole of the society. And I can make that positive move. I make that giant step and tell themselves, say, yeah, you hear me? Give up this, because this now make a benefit to nobody. Come here, tell you the truth, you know. When I'm a bad man, you know, girlfriend. Emily. M Cooks. Emily. Emily, Emily Crooks. Crooks. Emily, Emily, whatever. Anyway, when me I say Emily. Are, are you clean? Yeah. Never smoke anything before you came this morning? Mr. Smoke weed. You have a problem with that? 
You smoke weed? Yeah. How you get it? Plant it? A girl, you are a real informer, you know, man. Emily. Emily. I have to keep correcting you. Where you, you, know, you plant it? I say like a union, Keisha. Eh? Your wife will give you problems? Anyway, when me I say. Huh? Emily. Your wife will give you problems? You're too fast, Emily, man. I know that we come that's, here to That's man. why I'm a journalist. I ask the question. That's what I do. Don't you know? Sure, you expected this before you came here. You know, say a man supposed to not like you. Yeah? Th that, that's very, very personal. We want to get back to the next So we are want to get back to me and Keisha life. You never know what uh, me and Keisha life personal. But you want to dig down in my you, one. Eh? We're going to take a break. When you better <laughs> broke up. <laughs> <laughs> when we'll come back, we'll hear some more about the controversial Desmond Valentine. A lot more on exposure. Stay with us, please. <laughs> Welcome back and thanks for staying with us on Exposure today. We talk with or we are talking with Desmond Valentine Ninjaman about his performance at Sting and his handing over of a gun on stage to Senior Superintendent of Police Renita Adams. We have on the phone Mr. Adams at this point in time. He was unable to join us because of course he's out in the field doing a lot of work. Mr. Adams? Yes, a very good afternoon. Good afternoon and welcome, sir. How are you? Thank you. I'm fine. How can I help you? Where, whereabouts are you now? You're on the job? Okay, yes. I am in Port Antonio right now. I just did an operation on a premises where a shotgun, along with uh, four rounds of ammunition, has been um, recovered and one man has been arrested. He's yes. being arrested right now. We are taking him to the uh, Port Antonio police station. You were searching the premises and you found the gun? Well, obviously, we're acting on intelligence, so we came in this morning hurriedly from Kingston, based yes. on my intelligence, and we went straight to our premises, where it was searched, and this shotgun, a pump action shotgun with four rounds, and uh, one man has been arrested also. In light of that, Mr. Adams, just explain to the public why Desmond Ballantyne was not arrested when he handed over a gun to you at Sting. It is simple. I have a discretion as a policeman. If a man found it possible, unnecessary, and prudent uh, f the, f to, to want to have his gun handed over to the police, I, I just think that I should appreciate that. And, um, you know, if I were to have gone and arrested anyone who voluntarily hands in his, 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 his firearm, then anybody else would follow. Uh, uh, to hand over his or her firearm if I did that. Obviously, the firearm will be investigated. It was sent to the, ba the ballistic people. Yes. They will be investigating to find out if it were involved in any other criminal offenses, especially murder, shooting, or anything of the sort. Mm -hmm. If that were proven, proven uh, in a positive way, yes, uh, Mr. Ninjaman and others will be investigated mm -hmm. in a more in-depth way uh, as to their involvement. But outside of that, the mayor, the mayor position, uh, he did not tell me that it was his gun. He did not accept that it is his gun. He told me that he had a gun to hand, hand over. Mm -hmm. I did not believe because I, I saw him with an imitation firearm first. And uh, people, you know, were, were saying it's a, it's, it was a, as they saw it, it was an imitation firearm. I sent my two security officers first. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, on stage, asking them and telling them to tell him if he really wanted to hand over a firearm, they could have done it to them. He failed and insisted that he wanted me. Yes. So I, I, for the purpose of it, I went. Why? I people who want to hand over a firearm to me uh, and so on. I will gladly accept it and, I, uh, and it depends on the circumstances. I personally, I don't know who else, yes. but I personally will not be charging anybody probably just to say thanks and to make further investigation as to its, its involvement in serious other crimes. Did you talk with the Ninja Man any at all before his performance on stage? I have never spoken to Ninja Man before. I, I, I think about five years ago, I might have seen him in Olympic Guard and somebody showed me that that was Ninja Man. I had no talking at all. I, I, heard, I heard it being said that it was staged. I don't know about any staging of anything. I've always gone to Sting for 17 of the 18 or 19 years it has been in existence. And I've always been there. And I, 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 I did not tell anybody at all that I was involved in any staging of any firearms. So I don't know 
how this statement could be made at all. Well, we have that statement coming from a high, very high-ranking official in the police force. As a matter of fact, the commissioner alluded to that. Let's just hear what the commissioner had to say, Mr. Adams, and then I'm going to ask you to respond to something I'll ask you right after. Yeah. Let's go to a clip from the commissioner of police. And a certain window of opportunity to, to be made available that never existed at the time we started this initiative. Um, there has to be a public mindset that they have reached a stage where they want to hand over the guns. And a gun amnesty would encourage that. Um, that certainly did not exist a month or two ago. However, we are encouraging people to hand over guns. And you would have seen what seems to be becoming um, a, a controversial handing over. Um, but, you know, I, I need to sort of tone it down a bit to say that there's a lot of stage acting there. Um, the police had been informed prior to um, of the whole event, so there was a lot of acting. And if you notice, a certain police officer um, didn't do too badly singing. <laughs> Mr. Adams, yeah. did you hear what the commissioner had to say? That I never the, the heard her say, but I am not motivated to speak on what the commissioner said. I'm telling you and I'm telling Jamaica, right? Anybody who indicated that this was a stage thing. Obviously, if it were the commissioner, obviously he was misinformed and mis... Um, um, I, well, I just want to say he was misinformed. I, I didn't speak to the commissioner on that issue. Is, is, the, is the there some... Who, is there some the, rift going on, I, Mr. Adams? Hold on. I am I'm the one who is responsible for having gone on stage. No other officers were there other than my two by stars. Yes. I did not speak to the commissioner on this issue. So I am telling you, if the commissioner made a, a, that statement, obviously he was misinformed. Nobody else was there with me. I was the one who went on that, I, on that stage, received that firearm along with my two bodyguards. None of us have reported our directly to the commissioner. And my report to the, to the command post on the site was that I was called on stage by a ninja man who handed me a Glock 17. And that is on the lab at the yes. command post at Sink. Yes. L l l let me just hold you a second. Um, ninja man, the commissioner has said that there was a lot of stage acting, that the police were informed before the gun was handed over. Did you make any call to yes, the, the CMU to inform them? I want to give a joke. I never knew Mr. Adams. I never want to know Mr. Adams. And Mr. Adams, as him there on the phone now, I can't tell you the truth where God love. Mr. Adams killed two of my friends them already, at least three. Pele Pele, George Brown, and the next one from Outer East. Yeah? yeah? Therefore? All three man them come from prison with me. And them tell the same to me three to five years ago. It was three years when I just come from prison. And him look him to hundred of them come down the Olympic way. And them point me out to him and him think like them say I him to turn to me. Not even him turn to me, Mr. Pusey turned to me and said, Let me tell you this. Leave the gunman company them alone. And tell my friends that don't go back to Waterhouse. And since then you haven't contacted I, Mr. Adams. I, I, I never talked to Mr. Adams that day. And them tell me that I'm saying uh, Adams that him know me now. I caught, I will send me a feet. <laughs> so you've run away from, from Adams? I don't really run away. I just walk out of it because let me tell you something, girlfriend. I have bad from my 13, you know. From my 13, I live on the back of the field, you know. And I had 37 to 24 to this month. You feel after going through all them gunshots and all them things, they don't see. I, if all right, it's if they might give a award for dead friend, me have the most, you know. But let, let, let me come back to you. Mr. Adams? Yes, and I want to make something clear. I, I'm, I'm told that a particular statement has also indicated that it is obvious that I rehearsed the song that, was, that I did. Let me tell Jamaica and make it clear. This is a song that I have been singing for the last 20 years at every church that I have gone to. When I was a commanding officer for St. Catherine, that was my team song. 
when I was the commanding officer for, for Kingston Eastern, that was my theme song at the churches. And anywhere I go, that is my theme song, because I think it's just relevant. Mm -hmm. It will soon be done. It will soon be done. All the troubles and trials, all the temptation, all the gun shooting, all the news carrying and the news mongering and everything will soon be done. And that is my philosophy yes. on that whole observation. Nothing at all was rehearsed or staged. Is, is, there some, is there a rift, Mr. Adams, in the ranks of the police force? I find it quite absurd that the commissioner can come out at a press conference and say to the people of this country that it was staged. Police officers knew about what was going to happen on stage before it actually took place and that you did very well holding the mic too. And you are now well, saying that you knew nothing of it. What is going well, on? Well, I'm not debating what the commissioner said about policemen. You, I'm only, I'm only talking for myself. I'm not talking if he said, if, 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 if the respectable yes. commissioner says, or said, that policemen knew. Yes. Then obviously he knows what he's talking about, but I'm saying I don't know about any staging. Yes. You, you, you have also said... And neither, neither, neither was there any policeman who indicated to me that this would be taking place. Yes. You have also said, Mr. Adams, that um, the reason you did not arrest Ninja Man had to do with the discretion on your part. It had nothing to do with the gun, gun amnesty that you stated before. Is there a gun, gun I don't amnesty? I know if I alluded to any gun, gun amnesty. I'm only saying... You were right. quoted and in the paper. Happened, there is precedent. Many, many a person has handed in firearm to the police force. Persons, business people, ladies, gunmen themselves. Everybody, almost every category of person out there has handed in guns to the police force. And we have always accepted it. And only that we investigate to find out if they were involved in any serious crime, yes. which would follow by prosecution or arrest. At the end of the day, if it were proven, <laughs> that it was not involved. Then uh, a warning to the individual and also yes. a congratulatory remark to them uh, is also prudent. How far and I are will, you? I will continue to accept firearm from anybody yes. for, for any reason, as long as it is illegal. How that, far that are you, firearm, Mr. Adams? That one firearm could have saved 50 persons' life in this country. How far are you with the, with the investigations into this one? Well, the man, I, I tell you, I was actually on the way to the Port Antonio police station to have this man arrested, but because you called me, yes. I stopped along the, 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 the wayside to, 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 to talk oh. to you. I'm going now to have him arrested for illegal position of firearm and uh, ammunition and, and, and further investigation as to certain criminal activities. My intelligence has indicated that this individual has been involved in the Port Antonio here for the longest while. In, in relation to um, Desmond Valentine's issue, how far are you with the investigation in that? Have you found out anything related to the gun and any specials or anything like that? Not yet. It has been, it has been sent to the ballistic people, as I said, and um, they, have a, they have a stockpile here now doing, but I've asked them to, 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 to speed track it, uh, fast track it for me. Yes. And um, I, I, I am I'm quite sure by about Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, I should be able to report to the authorities uh, as to uh, um, the, the, the status on that gun, whether or not it were involved in any criminal activities. May I, may I thank you so very much, Senior Superintendent of Police, Renato Adams. We're going to take a break on exposure. When we come back, we'll take some calls from you, the viewers, and also have a wrap with Ninja Man. Stay with us, please. Welcome back. Thank you for staying with us on Exposure. We talk with Desmond Valentine, Ninja Man. I'm going to go straight to the phone calls because this is the final segment. Good afternoon, caller. Good afternoon. Hello. Good afternoon. Welcome, man. I must commend um, Ninja Man on his, on his deed. I really like what he did. Ninja Man, I'm very proud of you, and I hope that you are, in fact, making a change. And I don't think the interrogation is also necessary today because it is, in fact, something positive, and we need this kind of change in this country. Thanks very much, ma'am. Bye-bye. Welcome, caller. Hello. Hello. Good afternoon. Hello? Yes, welcome. 
Hello? Yes, go right ahead here in your man. Hi, good afternoon to you. G good afternoon. I want to also compliment in German. I first heard about this gentleman um, in the DJ circles. I've always known her, him to be very popular. I didn't understand why. Um, because I associate him, you know, we have a free mind frame about certain various persons, and I just associate him with certain yes. categories. I've heard, it, I've seen him perform on the television, and that's the first time I was impressed about him. And he's very entertaining without a hip song. Now, what is going on now with him? I remember when he became a Christian, and I am disappointed in the public with how they treated him. With his background, I don't know too much of his background. I'm assuming things here, so maybe he can clarify things to me. He sounds like a very intelligent person. I don't know what kind of education he had, but he's, he sounds very intelligent. And I respect him for the book, for his effort in trying to do good. And I would hope that the people of Jamaica don't molest him and push him the wrong way because he's trying. And he's coming from background where he has seen and, and associated with other things and he wants to move away from that. And it is very trying. It is trying to be a Christian alone, yes. much less to be with his background. Thanks. So I would want them to just give him a chance. And allow, I'm not talking just police officers, I'm talking people in general. Yes. Right? Th thanks so very much. Thank you. Have another call yes, online. Sir. Good afternoon. Hello. Hello. Welcome. Well, Yes, go right ahead, please. Yeah, but I like to comment in German on what it is still on. But I say, I say better authority in the future still. Go on all the faith in German. Don't make them stress you. Yeah. Yes, yes, thanks, thanks very much. Th thank you. Caller, welcome. Hello. Hello, caller. Yes, good morning. Yes, good afternoon. Go right ahead, please. Right. Um, just want to wish in German the best. And um, regardless of what Whatever is happening, I want him to hold the faith and know that it's something good. Yes. Bless you. Th th thanks very Thank much. You. Ninja Man, you, you've heard four callers back to back commending you. This is the kind of reaction that you had hoped for. You were hoping that people would use it as a positive move to make society a better place? Yeah, man, because I'm going to share something. We are the road modeling. And without, we set the trend. Because I me tell you before, I'm the one who started. So I am the one who's supposed to finish it. You understand? Mm -hmm. And these are what we really want to see from the youth, them. And as I tell you, I was watching the kids' program before I come on the TV, and I hear all the little kids, them, when they get an interview, what they would like for Jamaica. Them all saying they need peace. Mm -hmm. My feelings, I would like to see 2003. Nobody died of gunshot. If even somebody died of gunshot already, we could just bike on it. Even so, we're not ready to put, up, put in no gun. Mm -hmm. Just so, we're not going to use them. None at all, 2003. Police, soldiers, and nobody cares. I have to tell you one thing. It's the first time since Mr. Adams come into Kingston and run, get the, 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 the permission to run the whole corporate, the whole country. Yes. It's the first I ever hear the 100 man team have stepped out and receive a gun and carrying in that man alive. And we must say, give three cheers to Mr. Adams. They're bringing one man into Portland Station now with a shotgun, without no gunshot, and he will be arrested, supposed to face the judge. This is the type of system we want to see. Can we expect to hear a difference in the lyrics of Ninja Man for 2003 and here. Yeah, that's why we even start from saying this. Why don't we surrender our guns? Those guns, there's no sense in killing anyone. The people are dying, the children are crying. Blood is all over the land. So and we go back and we look to the election and yes. we say, Election is coming, the fear is now sounding. Corruption's the highest we've seen. Politicians campaigning, the shatters negotiating, and the arms are flowing easily. The go-go shops growing, the ghetto expanding, and guns all over our street. Something keen up running, but the visa's not coming, and the poor left to suffer and weep. We're not only debating on Jamaica alone for put on the gun then. Mm -hmm. Now, the Americans, the Canadians, we leave and we go way back into the Middle East. And we say, the Palestine fighting, the Israelites bombing, chaos in the Middle East. The Americans shouting for the aid of Bin Laden and the al Qaeda's under retreat. They say Saddam complaining, the Muslims keep praying, and God knows where will this end. 
This is the problem. Lord, help us solve them. It's all resting in your hands. So why don't we surrender our gun? Yes, and, and the rest. Since you have handed over the gun, have you had any of your bad man brethren said this is a great move, Ninja, and I'm going to do just that right after? Just well, hold, hold on for me. Let me come back to you. We have the police commissioner online. Good afternoon, Mr. Forbes. Good afternoon to you all. Welcome, sir. Good to have you. Yes, I want to make two quick points. Um, my very first point is that I, too, wish to commend Ninja Man for being brave enough to hand over a gun. We don't know yet where he got the gun or whether or not he was involved in crime. And um, certainly those things are going to be investigated. But he must be commended. And I hope that others who see him as their role models take a cue from him and uh, help us to get some of the illegal guns out the street. Um, but I want to address the interview with Mr. Adams and, and um, Ninja Man a little earlier. Um, with reference being made to a speech, I. I, I, I was quoted from. Um, sometimes things happen above the levels of the main players. And uh, so whereas Ninja Man may truthfully be saying he never spoke with Adams before, and whereas Mr. Adams is saying quite truthfully that Ninja Man never spoke to him, that does not mean it was never discussed prior to. Discussed with whom? Well, I, I was advised by an officer much senior to Mr. Adams that he was called by a player, not Ninja Man, to discuss the possibilities of this handover uh, taking place. Mm -hmm. And uh, the, the plot at the time was that Ninja Man would have handed over the gun prior to um, going into his performance and that what he would carry on stage would be an imitation firearm, a toy gun and he would do the public handing over of the toy gun. Obviously, somebody flipped the, the, the play, and the real gun, which, you know, was, was wrong, um, it, could have, it could have backfired, it could have been discharged, persons could have gotten hurt, you know, and we would not have agreed to something like that happening if that was what had been discussed. But it was discussed by uh, someone. But had that been the case, Mr. Commissioner, then um, Ninja Man must have known about it. So why is he now saying that he knew nothing of well, any kind of plan at all? I don't know the discussion that preceded the, the show, um, whether or not the persons who managed him or the persons who are associated with it um, discussed it with him to the extent that they were going to discuss it with a senior police officer. Mm -hmm. But I'm telling you that the report to me by that very senior officer yes. was that prior to uh, he was asked if that could be done, and in fact, he did, upon receiving that inquiry, communicate with another senior officer to see yes. if he agreed if it was going to be something, you know, that was legal. May I ask you, just, just hold on a second for me, please, Mr. Yes. Commissioner. Ninja Man, could you just clarify for me, that bag that is um, in the lady's hand, exactly who is the lady and why is the lady bringing the bag there? I'm a money that I'm a collect for Steve. No, no, it's not the money. It's not the money. That exactly is a, that is something looking like a gun. You can't stay here and look for a bag and tell me, say, you see something <coughs> like a gun. Just, That's just, how some no, people no, go no, to prison, hold on. innocent. Just hold on. Look at it. Why would you be collecting the money from Sting? Ah, on a stage in come, front no. of thousands of people. She just have a look at when it, When I turned off the stage and I went to the back stage. Yes. Like my money just said, don't the place call me just have a look, just have a look, Just have a look, please, Mr. Valentine. Let's just see um, exactly what's going on. If that's your money, then it, I don't know money to be so black. No, and, you um, don't see nothing there, so you know. You don't? No. I have 20 20 vision. You? What, what's yours? Yeah, me have 90 90. <laughs> <laughs> no, I. I, I anyway. We're, we're, not, we're, we're, al we're almost out of time. I just want you to clarify why, why something for me. Just clarify for me, Mr. Valentine. We're almost out of time. Mm. The lady who was there, you're saying she was handing over money to you and not the weapon that you handed over, and well, therefore it wasn't staged. You don't need to know all of that. You just need to know the weapon handing over. The commissioner appreciated it. The leader for crime appreciated it. The prime minister appreciated it. Why can't the country appreciate it? I tell you already, you know, I've tried to do the, good already. The first time the I reached to do good 
you know, pressure me and me have to run out back. You know, so if it wasn't for you know, you know, see him, you know, condemnation, Jamaica would be a religious nation from 1997 now. I would have lead the people straight to yes. God, you know, and I start on the road of making a, that decision that you supposed to see in God and know God and receive God. Yes. I you know, you know, take me back out of the church till me see man end up all a bone, God and bone Jesus now. I want you know, to praise them and I praise them with the fire the, the, and the, take God out of them and, and give them the devil on the cell. After mm -hmm. me, I come and make a different headway you now. I'm you know, still I try to stop it. Let, let, let me tell you this. Yes, I am only. Hold, hold, on. hold on. I am only an individual in this country. Yes. And the responsibility of this country is not mine alone. So if I am trying to make a difference and you people don't decide to help me, oh God, I can ask God to take me home. Bye. I'll did, see you later. Did you not understand that when you became a Christian, the devil is going to be so strong than when you were out there in the world? If I had no God then, like I knew now, no, 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 couldn't get me out. But you know, that's why I'm telling us, you know, me hand over my gun now. Hold on. And I tell the world, say, I'm living a new life and I'm going back to the righteous way of salvation. Yes. Ho hold on for me, Mr. Valentine. M Mr. Commissioner? Yes, the, the plan that was in place, yes. the senior police officer who told you, yes. was there a decision, therefore, to give Ninja Man safe passage with the gun to go in sting? How no, exactly was no, he supposed that, to take it that, in? That, that was not a discussion. The discussion was that Ninja Man would take a toy gun. Uh, but prior to the event, the, uh, a real firearm yes. um, that he was taking with him would be handed over. Um, that was the plan. Not that he would take a real firearm onto the stage of sting. Yes. Yes. Is there, Mr. Commissioner, uh, an amnesty at this point in time, a gun amnesty? No, as I explained recently, there is no amnesty as such, as such. But officers do have a discretion, and they have been advised to exercise that discretion. Yes. Um, if a citizen wants to hand over a firearm, we will accept it. In fact, we even have a program where um, huge rewards are given to persons who give information lead, leading to the recovery of firearms and the legal ammunition also. Mm -hmm. So we are encouraging it. Um, there is a process that says if a firearm is received that we have to take it through the forensic science um, testing, examination, to see if it, was, it, is, if it is linked with any um, crimes. Mm -hmm. And if it is linked, then we have further investigations to carry out. But if it is not linked, then we say thanks and we move on. Yes, and the position now is that you're having tests run on the gun that Ninja Man handed in, and if there is evidence that something may have been done at some point in time, then he'll be brought in for questioning. Whoever it can be linked to will certainly be brought in for questioning. At this point in time, we don't know exactly if the gun is Ninja Man's or he got it from somewhere else, do no, we? I think that, that would, if it was linked to crimes, um, that the investigations would have to seek to find that out too. I mean, we can't... Here, for example, that the gun was used in the, you know, murder of one or two persons and just say thanks for that and, and move on. Yes. Uh, we have to find a way to clear up the cases. We're almost out of time. I asked Mr. Adams this question. Don't you think it, um, when you said that a particular policeman did very well with the microphone as well, do you not set Mr. Adams up to have been a part of this playing on stage and no, no, if no no no, no. Yes. That, that was said in jest if you if you saw i was laughing when yes. i spoke about him you know obviously having time to rehearse and all that because right. he sounded good right. um, all of that was in jest you know based on, on where we were and how we were you know how the discussion was progressing mm -hmm. i think the serious part that we must bear in mind and you know not try to develop a controversy is that um you know a gun was handed over but the manner in which it was handed over is not something that we are going to be encouraging. Um, we yes. do not want to make a public spectacle. And um, even the way Ninja Man called the policeman, the first policeman yes. on stage, you know, call me a police. I mean, that is, that is disrespectful. So, you know, there must be a better way to do that in the future. May I thank you for your clarification, Superintendent, yeah. um, com Police Commissioner, rather, yeah, Francis, Mr. Forbes, thanks so much. Ninja Man. You're asking the, the public to come out and support you in what you have done. We've had four callers to this program and everybody commending you. What from here? We really need from here. We need for really to the government take it serious and start handing out amnesty. Because I can tell them this. I can tell the commissioner. I can tell the judge. 
from my experience, prison have no change of changing a man from being a criminal. Sending him to the prison only make him be a better criminal when he come out here. And be a more illiterate and a dark person who comes out of the prison, go in there with a human and come out as a barbarian and a cannibal. You go into the prison, you learn to kill and destroy more than when you're on the street. So let's change and build a better country. Same time, same place, and let's hope that the positive part of Ninja Man's handing over of the gun can be taken as where we really need to go in 2003. Thank you so very much.